Hello, everybody. Welcome back to Vintage Survival. In our beautiful tractor forklift thing. <laughs> We're gonna try. Emphasis on try here. To unload the pickup today. Ooh. I'm not going to do all of this on camera, because it's three times harder when you're doing it on camera. <laughs> I think almost all of the uh, Farm Sim YouTubers agree on that. Wow, that's way off. Doesn't help that you don't have the greatest depth perception in the game. There we go. Now if I... There we go. And it looks like I need to slightly adjust my audio. Hopefully you guys could hear me. Oh, let's try a little bit more adjustment. There we go. Hopefully you guys could hear me over this thing. It is pretty loud. And where are we going to stack these? Probably the same place we stacked them on the other map before we were forced to leave. Right on top of this pile of wood. It's nice and convenient, and can't really be used for much else. Awesome. Alright, I'm going to get busy finishing this up, and I will talk to you guys again in a few minutes when we go over what we're doing for the day. Alright, after a little bit of work on some more auto drive points and whatnot, we are ready with our plowing tractor to get started on plowing this field. So if we look at our contracts, we have a harvesting, which I'm going to work on, a um, couple of liming, and two plowing. So the plowing contracts are both fairly close together right here. Um, if we look... On the well here make the mini map bigger we've got field 7 and then field 2 both of which now have auto drive created for them um, not that that's a major concern for 7 since I'm already here um, but it will be for 2 when we want to shift him over we won't have to do everything manually all right so let's click on that for now we can get our stuff all generated out uh, we want sharp yes beautiful except i want longest edge much better and you start your job buddy so he's all set up and ready to go Now, if we look at our harvesting contract, that was on field three, and it's sunflowers, so that is the header that we are currently using. And what that means is that we can... I haven't moved any of these over yet. Field three. Is it going to bug out again? It is, yep. Sometimes it won't let me drag them. I don't know what the story is there. But we'll get him headed down to field three. Um, he already has lime aboard, so liming, we can send him to field six because that has a point. So what I can do, actually, is create this ahead. 
by clicking into the field. Sharp, sharp, sharp. Yes. Looks good to me. And instead of clicking start job, I can set... Here, get rid of that. Set his auto drive. Can we drag on here? Nope. Damn it. When that bug comes, it's a gnarly one. We can set his auto drive to 6, click the course play icon, click start, and when he gets to his target, he'll activate course play. No, we don't want that. We want the truck. So we will grab green trailer, with green being my favorite color. And we will set ourselves to field three. And drive on down there manually. We're going to get there long before the combine, but that's okay. Because I can do a few other things in the meantime. Um probably actually worthwhile for me to set up the other uh, fields that we need to do with the auto drive while I'm waiting for the tractor to arrive or not tractor but uh, combine so I need to make a right hand turn here Perfect. All right, I will see you guys down at the field. All right, we are on a little bit of a detour. Um, I decided it was about time we got us a roller. So that's 2.5. Ooh, even bigger. Four meters. Well, I would say that's our guy right there. So we're going to drive this away. And when we get there, I will show you guys. Oh, yeah. That plow is booking it. I've already accepted the payment for that contract. Um, 12 looks pretty nice. So we'll take that, too. As far as harvesting... Oh, we should have taken one of those. Well, live and learn. Check all your contracts first. <laughs> Alrighty. As we drive by, once I get that far, I will show you guys what's going on with our workers. Alright, we are down here. We have our lime tractor not doing anything. I'm looks like I got things to fix and this is why we check uh, I'm guessing that this guy just I forgot to restart him after installing the roller mods are we gonna do anything oh nope he ran out of lime so I'll take care of that in a minute the plow is ongoing and of course, here we have this issue. There we go.
that would likely have been an issue anyway. Hard to say. There we go. That's the real problem. Oh, where is this supposed to be going? Obviously, I never finished setting that up correctly. To the oil mill. Do we have the oil mill? Not yet, we do not. So. We're going to just put it on gas station fuel. We'll have to fix that. Um, but, yes. That's fun. We're going to send this guy back to the farm. No. We need to send this guy to the store. Which does not exist yet. Aw, oh, come on, dude. Ay, ay, ay. All right. <laughs> well. <laughs> Yikes. Anyway, we are almost to the store. There is an auto drive heading into the store, but it doesn't actually have any points on it, and it's not done in a good way. So I'm going to be completely deleting that and redoing it right now off camera. I'll see you guys once again in a little bit. Alright, there we go. That is now created the way I want it. Which gives us the ability to pick up our roller. Heavy. Maybe a little too heavy. So let's do a quick, can we add front weights to this tractor check? Front weight, yes. Customize. Still heavy, but not terrible. All right. I am now going to send this on its way to the fuel station. And we will grab this guy. Send him off to the shop. Pickup area. Oh, really? Let's try that a little closer to the road here. Negative. Okay, so I have made a mistake somewhere. <laughs> Not the first time, nor will it be the last time. I'm guessing that the inbound connections that I reused from the automated aren't actually connecting. That is just an educated guess, of course, from the years I've been working with AutoDrive now. So we'll turn those back on.
And let's see. I mean, that certainly looks connected to me. But as you can see, it's not. So we'll get rid of those two useless points and actually connect it. Now that is definitely connected because it works. But we have to consider the other side as well not connected. So we'll connect that and the other inbound not connected. So now it's connected. So now if I hit this where's it gonna go? It's gonna go down and try to turn around and come back because we were too close. So we'll turn it off be naughty and drive through the neighbor's field. And swing back around. There we go. Alright, well, let's turn off the route display. But we need some lime. I'm just going to grab eight more bags. And those will be in the pickup area. Which I'm not going to allow it to actually reach by its own method. We're going to be naughty and jump the curb. Get our tanks all filled up here. And now... What field were we on? I can't remember. Uh, liming. We were on six. So I'm going to set this to... Six. And I don't want to put him on course play because he'll start at the beginning again. So I'll send him there manually and then... I will trigger this with last waypoint. Perfect. Check on everybody else. What you doing here, guy? I don't know why this guy's in reverse like that, but sure. Wonderful. This is what I want. So instead of working on the harvest, I am going to work on this if it doesn't destroy my crops. I cannot remember how far you can let the crops grow before you roll. Because I normally do it, wow, right after seeding. So we're going we're gonna to test this together on camera. See how badly I've screwed things up. Might as well just go right in here, right? Now, is that actually doing anything? Oh, wow, another plowing completed. Um, if we look at our map. Go to that particular filter. So it's still showing that it needs rolling. So it's not hurting the crop any, but it's also not doing anything. Alright, so now we know. More like, now I know. <laughs> We have a nice convenient parking space right here, if nothing else. We'll start that guy up. He's going to drive over to where he left off. Oh, we need to stop this guy. 
wonderful. And do we have any other good plowing contracts? I would say yes. Yes, we do. There's one for two grand. Did I already grab one? I did. Twelve. Which is worth more. Now, oh, twelve is showing as being right over this direction. Obviously, I do not have it connected to the auto drive network yet. We can just do a little cross-country driving here. Okay, 12 is up there on the curve. So what we can do is that same old thing. Generate it up. Hit that. And we're going to hit start job. He'll find his way there. There's not enough obstructions in theory. Where's he going? No idea what that was all about. But in theory, he can find his way there without running over a tree. And get busy. Oh my goodness. Come on, guys. I don't have this set to drive to its truck, do I? Or to its unloader? I do. Oh, good grief. Turn my traffic back on. I forgot that I turned it off. It's supposed to be temporarily while I was working on auto drive stuff. Okay, sometimes it's just better not to ask. But with our freed up contract position, one, two, three, four, and we're allowed five with the mods that I'm using, we can look at taking one of these. the other one 39 all right we will probably end up doing them both 41's there 39 is am I blind 36 37 38 39 right. Wow literally right next door I'm on the wrong filter though. Yeah, and 38 is there too. And might, might, mind you, be able to be done as well. 
All right, so I'm going to get this driven over and set up, and then get the tractor driven over with the trailer and set up, and I will see you guys in a little bit once again. So our harvester needed fuel. Um, so I've gotten it up here to, to get some. It's also getting lower than I like on the repair bar. So in the near future, we'll have to do something about that. But for the moment, this is what we're doing. Okay, I realize this has been a seriously busy episode of farm manager mode here. Keeping all of our workers going in the correct directions, etc. Uh, and I do apologize for that, that we didn't end up doing really any on-camera work ourselves. The only work I've been doing, obviously, is making auto-drive and keeping these guys all doing what they're supposed to be doing. That said... Wow. Okay. Um, <clears throat> that said, it has been a very busy but very productive episode. If we turn the HUD back on, we're up to 24,000 despite having spent some money and uh, we are doing contracts left right and center which is a good thing for our bottom dollar so we're on our what third or fourth plowing contract of the day so many have lost count we got two pretty good harvesting contracts going um, the lime spreading is the one that's not been great so, that tractor, uh-oh, <laughs> speaking of that tractor, causing problems again, we're going to just move the combine around him. He's on his way back to the store yet again. Oh, move the combine around him. We don't need to. We're here. But yeah, he's on his way to the store yet again to load up with more lime to the point that I've purchased eight more bags which is a lot our truck here is still in a good position the sugar beet harvest is going well looks like we will fill the uh, the good old trailer here this round that's that's great Oh, good timing. That's so funny that it grabs bags farther away before it grabs the one right next to it. Alright, no big deal. Oh, come on. <laughs> I know that was my fault, but still. Uh, yeah, yeah. So I do want to test this. I had a theory. If I set this to last waypoint, that when I set this to six and do this, he will actually pick up where he left off because... I've seen other people, I've just never bothered to figure out how to do this. I have seen other people where they have their uh, forage wagon, for example, set up to just go. And it fills itself up, switches over to course play to go and drop it somewhere. Then it comes, or I'm sorry, it switches, it, it fills up on course play, then it switches to auto drive to go and deliver it to you know, a hayloft or whatever. A silage clamp, it doesn't matter. Goes and delivers that load, comes back to the field, and picks up course play where it left off. All 100% automated. The only way that I can think of for that to work is if the last waypoint piece of that works. So, I figured, 
what better time to find out. And yes, I am aware of the floating piece of the tractor that's off. When we can afford to, we will be replacing the tractor because of that. For those not sure what I'm talking about, let's put it right in the center of the view. Circle the mouse around it. It's right there. It's passed behind the tree. It's a piece of the actual tractor's three-point floating way off. It's not the first time I've had that problem with a mod, and there's nothing that I can easily do to fix it. So I ignore it. Alright, where is he going to go? Awesome. They do go back to where they left off at. That is perfect. Potentially. He thinks he left off way back there for some reason. That's alright. He's getting the job done. I think that'll do it for today. That's a 30... It'll be a 32-ish minute episode. Um without a single time lapse or anything. So I'd like to thank you all for watching, and as always, we will see you on the next one.